Well, from Purple Rain and the Mighty Ducks to Jingle All the Way, there is a long list of movies made here in Minnesota. In fact, for a while in the mid 90s, the Mini Apple became a mini version of Tinseltown. In tonight's Maury Stories, Maury Glover takes a look back at the making of one of those known as Beautiful Girls. Tucked under the limestone bluffs in the heart of Stillwater, there's a nod to days gone by. But nearly three decades ago, this oasis had a supporting role in one of the most star-studded movies ever made in Minnesota. Of all the movies that I have worked on, it's my favorite. Got some friends I want you to meet. Yeah? <laughs> Beautiful Girls was directed by Ted Demi and starred a constellation of young yeah. stars, including Matt Dillon. Timothy Hutton, Uma Thurman, Mira Sorvino, Rosie O'Donnell, and Natalie Portman in one of her first roles. It's just a call. The romantic comedy follows a group of friends as they navigate life and love in a small town. And the Oasis Cafe was immortalized on the silver screen as the breakfast spot for some of the main characters. This was like their hangout, so like the, the guys in the movie they're snow plow guys, so they get up and they crack it on, and they, they plow snow when it snows, and then they all come here for breakfast after their shift. Assistant location manager Ann Healy says the movie was originally supposed to shoot in Boston, but the producers chose to come to Minnesota instead because they thought there would be more snow. Unfortunately, we had a warmer than average winter that year, so the crew had to improvise, hiring an expert to make snow out of shaved ice. And he created a shredder that shreds blocks of ice and makes it look like white snow. And it stays for about 12 hours so that you can film all day. Or all, and it's really great at night. We seriously had semis, you know, every morning coming with blocks of ice. I mean, like, he couldn't, he was trying to get enough blocks of ice from around the country to do every scene that we needed to do. From February to May of 1995, the production shot around the Twin Cities, including Bryant Lake Bowl, the Hopkins House, and the Five Corners Bar. While Stillwater was the stand-in for the fictional town of Knights Ridge, Massachusetts, where the story was set. But Beautiful Girls wasn't the only movie being made in Minnesota at that time. Fargo and Feeling Minnesota were also shooting here. Yeah. And Healy says the actors from all three films were put up at the same hotel in downtown Minneapolis. Cameron Diaz, that was her first movie, Feeling Minnesota. So, and then Keanu Reeves. And, you know, and all the actors from our cast, and then Steve Buscemi from Fargo, they were all at the Marquette. If you were just doing errands and you ran into the hotel, chances are one of the stars from one of the three movies that was shooting was standing there in the lobby. Location manager Andrew Peterson says that year was the high point for Minnesota's movie industry, with three major motion pictures filming here all at once. At that time, we were the, we were the hottest thing in the country. We were Minnesota was the was the best place to be, and and studios came over and over again. Uh, because it was a really pleasant experience to shoot here. Despite its buzzy cast and mostly positive reviews, Beautiful Girls wasn't a blockbuster, but Healy says it has developed a devoted following, especially on the East Coast. So it started getting like a lot of good feedback from college guys, guys in college, you know, and then, you know, it became like their favorite movie. So like I'll, I'll be somewhere and I'll, I'll say, yeah, I worked on Beautiful Girls and they'll People will say that's my favorite movie. It certainly isn't Grumpy Old Men, but uh, there's a whole cross-section of the country that really loves Beautiful Girls. And even though Beautiful Girls wasn't set here in Minnesota, crew members say it holds a unique spot in the state's movie-making history. I think as far as uh, ensemble films here, it's by, I think by far, the most starry cast, top to you know, how, given the sheer number of people, it has a special place. I think in Minnesota made movies in that it was just, you know, it was, there was a little shock and awe with the uh, with the with the cast. For Maury stories, Maury Glover, Box Nine.